Sinestra. A couple things I hope to accomplish with this channel is clearing up any sort of confusion about certain games and making sure people's expectations are set appropriately. Take Alien vs Predator for Super Nintendo for instance. Now when you think of Alien vs Predator, your mind might first go to the arcade game which was made by Capcom in May 1994 and is an effing awesome playthrough. It's 3 player compatible, there's tons of weapons and chaos and craziness, it's a great time. Now take a look at the SNES version of Alien vs Predator. Uh, it's kind of a stark difference. But there is an explanation here. This is not a port of the arcade game. The Super Nintendo Alien vs Predator actually came out before the arcade game in September 1993 and has nothing to do with the arcade version. It was developed by a company named Jorudan, the same people who made stuff like Zardian and Musia, and published by Activision. Neither company has anything to do with Capcom. So having got that out of the way, is the Alien vs Predator SNES game any good? Uh, uh, no, no. No, it's not. Yeah, this is a side-scrolling beat-em-up like the arcade, but it's single-player only. I know most beat-em-ups haven't aged all that well because of the button-mashing, repetitive gameplay, but there's usually still a silver lining to be found in some of them, like how weird and crazy the enemies are in Captain Commando, or the split paths in the Peacekeepers, or the two-player fun in games like Sonic Blast Man 2 or Ghost Chaser Densei, but holy crap, there is next to zero redeeming value in Alien vs. Predator. I never thought it was possible to make a game where you play as the Predator this boring, but man, oh man, they sure did a hell of a job making this game as bland and lifeless as possible, even for a beat-em-up, and that's saying something. It's the same old stuff, Y to punch, B to jump, B and Y at the same time for a spinning kick, L and R do a sliding attack, X shoots your shoulder mounter laser, but that's it. You'd think the laser would be at least cool and fun to use, but it's more annoying than anything else because you have to hold the button down for a second, you can't be touching the D-pad, and you can't have any enemies around you to use it. It sucks. I mean, just listen to the sound it makes, it's terrible. There is at least a clear screen attack if you hold the button down long enough. I will say the LNR slide attack is useful, but other than that, it's punch, kick, punch, kick. The game does throw a couple weapons in the mix as well, a spear and a disc thing, but they're short-lived and not particularly fun or interesting. In addition, there's an invisibility power-up that doesn't provide a lot of benefit and just seems to be there to pay lip service to the Predator character. The enemy fodder here is also dull. Stand in one spot and they jump at you over and over and you just sit there and punch. But they take forever to kill. The settings and backgrounds all look the same as you progress through the game. Sure, there's some stuff like this boss fight where the alien jumps from the water, and this fight where there's some different lighting, but it's all the same old brown and green and gray colors all over the place. I will say the bosses look cool, and the music here is pretty good as well, but for positives, that's about it. One odd thing is that the Japan release of this game is called Aliens vs Predator. In in addition to the regular game, there's also a two-player one-on-one fighting mode, Alien vs Predator. But I mean, it's still the same boring repetitive beat-em-up mechanic, so I'm not sure why you'd want that. There's a couple other minor changes too, like the Predator being slower while having a dash option if you press forward twice quickly, but it doesn't make the game any more interesting. So yeah, to sum up, no, the SNES version of Alien vs Predator is not a port of the kick-ass Capcom arcade game. No, this game is not worth playing today. And in addition, for the love of God, can someone please get the Capcom Alien vs Predator available on home console somehow. That's all anyone really wants, not this other nonsense. So yeah, when people talk about generic 16-bit beat-em-ups, this is the kind of thing they're referring to. Unfortunately, I have to say to avoid Alien vs Predator on Super Nintendo, because you can find much, much better.